Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another package from our buddy Bill Bacardi. Now I know everybody knows Bill Bacardi because if you've been watching our videos you've been watching a ton of package videos from Bill Bacardi. Huge supporter in our community, extremely generous um, and yet we have another package in, on my desk from Bill. Um, Bill I can't thank you enough. Um, you know, you've been helping me out a ton. And, uh, yeah, guys, Bill Bacardi, he put out his very first video. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description right here below to that video. Um, please go check it out. It's uh, very interesting. Um, you know, Bill is a, a locksmith out of Chicago. And, yeah, he gave us a, a nice um, tour of his um, home shop at his house. Um, and it, it is very impressive. So please check out that video. Like I said, I'm going to put a link right there below to um, that video. Um, yeah, so please go check it out. And um, I'm sure he'll enjoy it. But anyways, uh, we do have another package from him. And, um, <clears throat> well, excuse me. Um, this is actually my one-year anniversary. Um, last May was actually like the first month that I had picked my very first lock. Um, I started this channel in September, and uh, with the support I've gotten from everybody, um, it is growing, and um, I just want to thank everybody, um, all my subscribers, all my fellow pickers, all the support you guys give me, um, it has been totally awesome. Um, so yeah, this is basically my one year anniversary now, and um, well, I've never actually showed anybody around, you know, my lock lab, so to speak here, um, what I've accumulated over the past year um, being in the lock sport. So I'm going to give you a little look around after we um, get through this package here. But um, anyways, I got this package actually last Thursday. I just haven't had no time to get it up. Um, and last night after my grandson left, I, for some reason I wasn't feeling well. But I'm feeling fine today and uh, yeah, we got to this package. But anyways, I came down, I worked nights and I came down last Thursday and um, when I seen this packet sitting on my kitchen table, guys, I nearly almost had a heart attack. My heart dropped into my stomach. Um, I thought there would be, I thought almost everything was gone out of here, seeing the size of that hole in there. But um, everything was safe. Bill had put everything in a big Ziploc baggie. Thank God nothing came out. And um, yeah, we have the package right here, which is <laughs> totally awesome. I'm so happy about that. Um, but anyways, we have another awesome package here from Bill. Um, we have Bill and I's first um, collaboration lock here. And it's an awesome lock, too, that he put together for us, an Arrow Asa Abloy here. Um, says, I didn't thread one, two, and three, because one, two, and three chambers are going to be mine to thread up, um, because I didn't know what you wanted to do with them, my friend. Thanks for doing this with me, Bob. Um, or thanks for doing this with me, bud. Um, Bill Bacardi. This is, this is pretty awesome. This is going to be our first community lock. Um, so I'm going to, um, well, I'll pick it. I will show you guys what he did to it. And then I will come back um, after I pin it up. And then I will pick it again. I'll be sending it to Bill after I'm done. And, um, well, he'll get it out to the community. Nice little six pin. That's going to be the bidding on the key. Pretty awesome. And this lock works very smooth. Nice and smooth so far. I'll see about that when I get done. Um, but anyways, um, he's already got the grub screws in there, the set screws up top, so we could work with that. That's awesome. And he's also got it engraved. Bobby Keys, Bill Bacardi. That is totally awesome. Sweet. That's going to be a fun lock. Um, and he had sent me some, um, some, some more key blanks here, some more SC4s. Um, six pin slate keys because well I had a big huge lot of kicks that I got from um, Truckmaster I mean excuse me um, West Coast Picks and again thank you uh, Harley for all those kicks that that is awesome I'm going to be getting those out into the community but um, anyways he sent me some more of these um, slates because I have about 10 of these that came with them I was trying to make sure I had some keys for everything and I have this Slag SC4 here, but this one here says it's made in Mexico, um, and this one actually fits in here pretty decent. It's a little snug, but it does fit decently. And then um, 
I have some slags here already that Bill sent me, so I, I already knew. I was pretty confident these weren't going to work in there. For some reason, I don't know why or what the difference is between the Mexico one and these here. But these do not fit. Um, maybe they're a little wider, thicker. I just can't. I've been trying to figure out the difference, and I just cannot tell because they look exactly the same. Um, I have another one here. This is an A1145J, which also fits, but a little snugger. And this here is actual Slag um, Kiwi. So it's not quite your Slag style Kiwi. It doesn't have that slope. Um, it's more like squared off over over there. But um, yeah, so he was trying to help me with that, and I appreciate that, Bill. I thank you. But um, yeah, I'll see if I can figure that out, or I'll just have to send these out without keys but anyway so he did send me some more of these and if I can't get these to work I did need some more of these anyways there I was very low on them um only had a couple left anyways but um he sent me a couple of tools here for my Dremel which is awesome he sent me a new um cullet um, another cullet here pretty awesome and um let me see try these try this cullet on your Dremel they work really well for making pins and I do have another Call it like that one too, um, for the smaller American pins because they won't they won't fit in this one here. I can't use this one for the smaller American, so I've been using this one here. And for when I make my pin and pins, I need this one too. Um, but awesome, he sent me another call it here, and he sent me a couple of bits. Um, these I don't have, which is awesome. Um, these very small bits for undercutting. Got a couple of real small ones here. These are awesome. These are going to be great for undercutting my chambers. And he sent a couple more here. So we could do some work in the locks. Pretty awesome. Thank you very much for this, Bill. I really, really appreciate these. I will put these to work. Yeah, I'm just going to put that over there with my other one now. So that is awesome. Oh, can't even get these back in the baggie here. All right, and he sent me some more uh, fish tape here, and this is pretty cool too because the fish tape that I use is only six millimeter wide, and I believe this is uh, eight millimeter. So he sent me some more different um, size fish tape. Very cool. I do have a couple of picks that um, I need uh, a wider fish tape. I need to see if I can find me some more of that. But awesome! Thank you very much, Bill, for that. And he sent me a couple more locks here for my collection. This is awesome. A couple new ones for your collection, my friend. Um, and these are 100 year ones. Um, and he says they're getting harder to find. So enjoy, buddy. And these are awesome, guys. These are a couple of American 5200s. And they are your 100 year anniversary. 1912 to 2012. These are totally awesome. Um, I'll probably pick these in my in some uh, later videos, but these will definitely be going in my collection. These are totally sweet. And look at the size of the shackle on this one. It's got to be like a 10 millimeter. Even this American lock here has a pretty um, pretty decent sized shackle. Um, hold on one second here. Again, this average American 1100. Let's see how much bigger that is. That's pretty awesome. So we have a couple of really nice 5200s here for the collection. Bill, I can't thank you enough. See, guys, this is what I mean, the generosity um, in this lock sport. And um, this is what helps me um, grow my collection and uh, just everything in general. But this is awesome. Bill, I can't thank you enough for that. This is These are definitely really sweet locks. 100-year anniversary. I love the texture on them and everything. These are really, really cool. Um, all right, and I also today got in a package um, from Sparrows here. I just had a couple more tools. Um, I do make my own picks now, but these ones here are in 15 thousandths. I need, broke my short hook, so I got a couple more short hooks, and I got a steep hook here. These are in 15 thousandths. I needed those. And Sparrows has a new product they are selling, which I was totally excited about. Um, because I've been wanting to get a 50 thousandths pry bar forever. 
and um, I didn't have one until um, West Coast Pick sent me a couple and um, made me this one. This is totally awesome. Um, but I have now one of these pry bars. Peterson sells these, and uh, I gotta say, Peterson is getting ten dollars a piece for these in fifty thousands. And guys, I got both of these. They're both in fifty thousands. Um, from Sparrows, and these, I think, were right around $5, maybe a little less, $5 US, and you get them both. Um, and they do have the little knurls there on the end. Um, and the one end of this one is different, um, possibly for bottom of the keyway and stuff. But Sparrows, a new uh, product, they are selling these pry bars now in 50 thousandths. Before, they were only selling them, I believe, in 40, but awesome. Great deal for five dollars, but um, yeah, got to share those packages with you, and um, yeah, let's give you just a little peek around, um, show you what I've had going on for the past year in this lock sport. Like I said, it's not much, but it is um, basically what what I've been um, doing here. We've got these locks here. I'm gonna put these new ones right in my collection. But anyways, this is, uh, this is my collection so far. Like I said, it's not a ton, but it is growing every day. Um, over here, well here, this is another um, a key uh, box here that Bill Bacardi sent me here that I had to decode. And inside this here is actually uh, Slag, oops, a Slag Primus, which I have to uh, work on. That's going to be a little challenging. Okay, um, over here I have a Supra C. This is a little bit different um, than the normal Supra C's. This one here has kind of like a tubular um, keyway, or a tubular lock, excuse me. But you can see the pins are inside those little notches in the center there. So I'm trying to figure out a way I can tension that and um, pick that. And if you look at the key here, you can see inside inside there is the bidding instead of on the outside of the key so that's pretty interesting uh, super C um, back here I have a few really cool locks here this one here the master 7045 from from um, Jeff Moss but I have a couple really awesome locks here I got from Randy Perkins here I got this huge kryptonite um, from Randy I got this awesome Lockwood Asa Abloy from Randy Perkins Randy, thank you very much for those locks. Those are awesome. Um, I have uh, the 900 here from Packlock. I have a medical medical back here that I'm going to be working on. I have this pretty awesome, uh, very big, huge, heavy football lock back here, shutter lock that I got from um, Bosnia and Bill. I have a couple of um, disc detainer locks here, you know, just cheap ones that I can try to um, work on. I want to try to get to... Uh, Pick a nose, another one here, um, got another one here, I got this one from the late night lock picker, um, might try this one first. I got uh, a couple locks from uh, the Czech Republic from one of my subs here, this cool, um, I don't know if you call that a Tokos, um, pretty cool lock, high security. Um, and you can see on that key it has this little notch there too. I'm not sure that has something to do with that security in that lock. But um, just a couple more cool locks. Of course mine with the logo on it from Pack Lock. Thank you very much Greg for doing that for me. A couple of really cool um, vintage eagles here. Both with keys. Um, got a couple of um, custom picks here from um, Trekmaster30. Um, and of course we have the collection of the mini locks that I just recently got. I got like six of them back there. Um, another really cool WB from Bill Bacardi here. All brass. And then we have a bunch of um, all brass um, Corbins here. A couple with uh, original keys and there's quite a few without here. I have quite a few Corbins, no keys, all brass. Um, got like five or six of them, I believe. Um, this one here has an original key and I think one copy. I think that's the original. 
and that one I believe is a copy. Um, got a really cool eagle here. Um, a Junkin Brothers uh, American Lock here. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And I have another um, junk, Junik, Junik. Um, really cool um, vintage um, combination lock here. It's a cool lock. And here we have my very first um, challenge lock that I pinned up on um, September 19th of last year. It was my very first challenge lock. I sent this one to um, uh, Artemis Picks and it took him a while to pick it. He picked it um, and he ended up sending it to Steel Pinnings and I was talking to Steel Pinnings. I told him I would like to eventually get this back and put it in my collection and uh, yeah, he sent it to me. Um, I don't think he actually picked it though on his video or on his um, channel. I wanted him to pick it first before I sent it, but I think he just sent it to me. Uh, a couple of cool sleigh makers. This is one that I got just recently that was lost in the mail for uh, at least a month. Um, another cool little one here. Uh, another sleigh maker here that I got from Pick Me 1977. Pretty awesome. Thank you, Pick Me, for that one. Here's the American I just recently picked, the 1305. And um, now I have it rekeyed. So I have a key for that one. I have a bunch of um, lever locks here. I have a uh, Sergeant of Greenleaf here with the original key. That one works. Um, we got the safety first here from uh, Chuck Master. Pretty awesome lock. We got a Yale. I don't have a key for that one. An old vintage Yale here. I have a Corbin um, ironclad with the original key. That's a pretty cool lock. Um, I have this Jared here from uh, one of my childhood friends, actually, um, lives in Florida. That is a really cool lock. And, um, yeah, that's basically what I have in my collection here, guys. Like I said, it's not a whole lot. Um, I got an Almont Rekey here from Randy Perkins, a really awesome lock. I'm going to get that one on video someday. Um, and we'll take that one apart. But, um, yeah, and then down here, um, well, of course, we have the... Um, the Foley Bellsaw 200 here, key cutter, um, works very well. I got this thing almost like new from uh, eBay. I had to just get a new belt, a new nylon brush wheel, and um, yeah, I put it on this base here. A little polyurethane, a little sanding, got a nice base for it. Over here, we have a new um, fence grinder. Now I've started making my own picks, as, as you guys um, have seen in my videos. Um, got the fish tape here, 25 foot roll. This one here is uh, 6 millimeters wide, uh, 30 thousandths thick. Um, 25 feet long, I cut my picks to about 5 inches or so. You get, I don't know, 50, 60 picks out of that. And that's only like um, 12 or 13 dollars at Lowe's. Pretty cool. Up here, we got some of my tools. Um, just your basic tools here. Um, the honest dung she uh, dimple picks here. Um, the colored ones. Um, well, over here we have a dimple um, bumping kit. Got the Dremel here. Um, we got some two in one lever picks. Um, we have the uh, or the HUK disassembly kit over here. We have a handheld um, key cutter. The handheld um, for cutting keys. Handheld job there. Under there we have the, um, well that's the electric pick that I reviewed. A couple of uh, resin plug followers down here for, you know, throwing some trays. Um, we got the, um, the Hoshi um, tubular impressioner. This one here is awesome. You can find the same one at the lockpick shop for around 70 or 80 bucks. I got this from uh, Banggood for like well actually I got this to review but they sell these at Banggood for like 40 or 45 dollars got a couple of um, pocket pick sets here um, just to throw in some trades got um, the Sparrows repinning kit um, a reload kit got another um, impressioner for tubular locks this is, here's your three different sizes but <laughs> um, I have had no luck with this set here I got this from Amazon or something for 25 or 30 bucks and, let me tell you guys, don't really waste your money with that. Um, 
with the rubber band deal and everything get yourself um, one like this works very well um, little card here from Jeff Moss and um, yep yeah, well down here I just got a couple little pin trays with extra pins and springs when I'm making my locks this lock this box here is just packed with um, packed with um, keys and I got some pre-cuts and just tons of um, blank keys from Bill Bacardi again just shows you the support that he gives us um, the generosity but yep yeah, that's what I got going on over here got a little bucket here that I put ice water in for when I'm making my picks so you know we don't get too hot when we're um, grinding the picks um, of course we got the laptop for uploading the videos and then over here we have in my dresser or this dresser here I got a couple drawers the bottom drawer I actually have my grandson's uh, clothes in it over on this side here we have um, challenge locks here that I already picked that, that go out in um, trades over here with a generosity that we have in our community all these came from West Coast Picks this year is filled with kicks um, most of them well, at least a little more than half of them with keys and these I already have um, plans for. They are going right back out into the community. I'm keeping just a few of them to make some locks myself. Another package here from um, West Coast Picks the first time um, when he sent me a bunch of kicks. And um, yeah, I've been working out of this package making challenge locks. Um, we've got a bunch of um, mortar cylinders and rim cylinders in here. I got a bunch of um, sergeants and... Um, some LSDs, I think some Ilkos in there. These were, you know, different locks from eBay. Um, you get good deals on eBay, guy. You want to grab them. Um, they make great challenge locks. Got a few vintage um, mortar cylinders and rim cylinders in here. Um, Corbin and Russwind. These are actually going to um, be sending these to Bill Bacardi. Um, they don't have, there's only one with a tailpiece, so they're missing tailpieces. And he's going to see if he can get me some keys for these. I hate to see these uh, vintage locks go to waste. I want to make um, some challenge locks with them. Over here, we've got a couple more um, cylinders, a couple rim cylinders, slags here for challenge locks. A couple of um, mortar cylinders here, um, quick sets for challenge locks. Different things back here, a couple of kick holders in here. Um, yep, pretty much that's in there. And this one here is basically a bunch of my tools. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just tape for taping up my my packages, um, my files, and the infamous knife <laughs> for when I'm uh, cutting my um, my um, serrated pins, getting those fine serrations. That works very well. Um, wife wasn't too happy about me taking that. Um, and then we got the coping saw blade with the very fine teeth and stuff. Um, my pins that I work with, tags for the locks, um, yeah, just some Allen wrenches and different materials, um, some more feeler gauges, make some tools with and whatnot. But yep, that's what I got in there. Um, I'm back over here at the desk. That is the desk where I do my videos. I just have that tripod right in the middle there. I sit on this little bench and um, yeah, we go to work opening up locks. Um, this side of the bench here we have my vise, little bench vise um, for when I'm sanding down my picks or doing a little filing or whatever. Got my um, visor here hanging off it from when I'm cutting my pins for my challenge locks. Just a couple miscellaneous tools up here. Up here we have um, couple of different things here we got um, some warded lock keys or picks if you want to call them for warded locks got some jigglers here over here um, got a cool little Reese vintage padlock here um, yeah that's pretty much it over here and then over here on this side here of course we have the challenge locks these are all challenge locks um, from everybody, this is well from Den Brass. Of course, we got Bill Bacardi here. A bunch of challenge locks from Bill Bacardi. Um, these were from Texas Jim. 
I have a bunch of locks I still have to go through. These were from Lockbuster. I got them all tagged in there. Um, late night lock picker. But yeah, those are all my challenge locks I still have to go through. Um, I have a couple loaners here. I have this one here, the multi-lock from Truckmaster. Been kicking my butt. I can get it into a nice fall set. I think I'm going to get this open, but it's not have got it open yet. And then we got this MT5 loaner from Bill Bacardi that I'm going to work on. That's an awesome lock. A couple of fabs here from, um, these came from Czech Republic from one of my um, subscribers. One of the ones uh, that won one of my um, giveaways. Um, yep, and then we have, of course, my, my, um, my vice, and then under here, I got the other head, the 303 panda vice head for the smaller locks and stuff, but that one pretty much does everything, so I don't even really use that one much anymore. Um, in this drawer here, we have a bunch more little tools and stuff, um, well, we got a bunch of shims here. Um, if anybody's interested, if you are interested in how you, um, or what you're using for when you're tapping, um, or threading your chambers and stuff, this here is for the normal size, this here is a, uh, 632 and this one here for the smaller american locks um master lock cores and stuff like that this is uh 440 um you know in case you were wondering and interesting what size is to use a couple of extra um pins in here for the, the american locks and stuff like that um a couple of drill bits here for pin and pins um the tools for um, or the picks, I should say, for um, the disc detainer locks here. Um, some grub screws back here. Or set screws, if you call it, want to call it. Buy them from this company for, you get like a hundred for, I don't know, five bucks or something like that. Rather than buying them from Lowell's or Home Depot where you got to pay like a dollar or something like that for two. But, um, yep, got those back here. I got some of these padlock shims and I got these from Amazon or some six bucks don't waste your money guys these just don't work they're just too thick and everything else those are pretty much junk but yep that's um basically what I got in there I, got, I use this little oiler here for um when I'm putting you know threading threading my chambers and stuff I put a little oil in it before I um tap them but um yeah that is uh a look at what I've had going on for um, the past year, and um, that is that is my lock lab, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. And um, yeah, everyone, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.